Hi, Kurt here with Chandelier U, the online learning center for ChandelierParts.com of Fergus Falls, Minnesota. We love chandeliers and we like you to uh, uh, love them too. And a few tips today about chandelier safety. And probably the few things, the number one thing we want to talk about is, um, uh, is safety and the electrifying the chandelier and a few things like that. Uh, making sure your prisms, uh, the connectors are good. That's probably the number one thing. Uh, before you do anything, you'll, uh, if you have loose pin pinning, you'll lose some of the prisms and they will fall and break. So before you're doing any kind of work, put down a nice heavy cloth uh, blanket, uh, fold it over a few times. So in case a uh, prism does fall, it doesn't shatter and you won't break it. Especially critical with older fixtures, um, the older your chandelier, the harder it is to get replacement parts, so keep that in mind. Um, so one of the things, the first thing when you buy a chandelier, you can't assume that the fixture, uh, the uh, electric box in the ceiling is going to support the fixture. And this is just a, a little diagram that we've set up a little sample. A lot of uh, fixtures, a lot of the boxes are just screwed very easily just quickly into the side of the ceiling stud and so when you open the box you don't know what's up there and so you might need an electrician to verify that the weight of the chandelier will be supported by what's up in the ceiling you can't just assume especially if you have a heavy chandelier this is very critical so um, a lot of the boxes are like that this is a better method of getting the box in between the studs have to cross supports and then put your uh, junction box into um, both of those. <coughs> this will hold the weight of a very heavy chandelier. This will not. And so that's the number one step. The other, the other thing <coughs> is uh, the, the weight of the chain. There's a huge difference in the chain. And um, this is a very decorative chain that, that we do sell. Um, and you'll see there's a split on it and the chain is a uh, wherever the split is you can take out links uh, and uh, very easy to do but if you have a very heavy fixture with a lot of prisms uh, raw crystal and we s and we sell prisms we sell chandelier parts to people who have huge fixtures in hotels and casinos and so uh, their fixtures have thousands of prisms on it that you have to calculate the weight and you certainly might need an electrician. This chain is for a very heavy fixture would hold a 500 pound or better fixture and you'll see that the chain itself is welded together and it won't come undone and so that kind of fixture, um, those big fixtures need a very heavy chain and most fixtures are going to weigh in at 25 pounds or less and the manufacturers uh, um, really do their best to keep the weight light so it's not um, overly heavy but <coughs> if you have fixtures that are weighing over 25 pounds you need to really consider what's up in the ceiling going to support it and the chain that's going to support the fixture the other thing about the fixtures and the lighting most of the the lighting uh, the wiring is good for years and years but after you've had a fixture for a long time you need to check the wiring underneath and you might have to have an electrician come and do that. You certainly wouldn't want to have a, an issue with your wiring. And uh, if you have an old fixture, uh, especially if it's 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 years old, you really need to look at the wiring. You may have to replace the wiring. It does get brittle. It does get old. And so the wiring would be the next one to make sure all your connectors are good. And we, you know, it's not hard to replace the uh, sockets it's harder to replace the wiring as it winds through the chandelier so that you might need an electrician for so support in the ceiling the chain the wiring those are the safety issues you need to consider with the structural part of the chandelier the more visual part of the chandelier prisms and the connectors make sure the connectors are good and if you're going to move it we have a separate video on moving a chandelier that you'll find helpful i think if you have to move a chandelier with a lot of prisms, you need to exercise a little caution and care when you're moving the chandelier, and it's well worth it to avoid any, any problems with it. Hope we've been of some help. It's Chandelier U, the online learning center for Chandelier University um, of ChandelierParts.com of Fergus Falls, Minnesota. Thanks for watching.